Well, welcome back to another episode, everyone. We are back on the river going on another float hunt once again. But this time, I have my 30 out 6, I have my 12 gauge, and I'm gonna try to do a little duck and deer combination. And as you guys can tell, the snow is absolutely blistering right now. We are in a winter storm, and we're gonna have about a seven to eight mile run up the river in the dark with the headlights on. It's gonna be an adventure, it's gonna be a great trip. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We're gonna head up river and start floating. Okay guys, gloves on, headlights on, let's head up river. Long ride. a pretty interesting ride up river this morning. I actually had to wait a while. When I first began heading upstream, it was a total whiteout. I couldn't see anything. So I had to putt until I could see just enough light where I could use the silhouette of the river to navigate safely upstream. So it set us back a bit, but we're up here now and we're just about ready to start floating back downstream. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 16 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's only gonna get up to 25 as a high today. So it's gonna be chilly, but it's gonna be a great adventure. deer down guys. I came floating around this corner up here and I could see four or five heads sticking out over the top of a log in this swamp. So I kept floating down and they all jumped up at the same time and I was able to pick out the biggest doe and take a shot. I think I dropped her right in her tracks but we're gonna go see. I'm excited. Smoked her baby, smoked her big doe too. Yes, yes, I can see her right in here. Dropped her in her tracks, baby, yes.
she is going to be headed directly to the freezer and we're gonna have some more venison to eat at her fishing camps this winter. And I'm very thankful for that. But it's time to get her tagged. We're gonna get her gutted in the boat and we're gonna continue our float down river. We have the heart. We have the heart, baby. We are gonna eat the heart. Well, we have our deer tagged and on the front of the boat. And for dinner tonight, we're gonna have some fresh heart and venison tenderloins. But what I'm gonna do now here, guys, is I'm gonna rip up river probably about a half mile or a mile and just let the day kind of calm down for a little while after all the ruckus that I caused in this swamp here this morning. I'm just gonna let things settle down and then I'm gonna continue my float down into virgin territory. But we still have plenty of time here today to make something happen on either a buck or a duck. <laughs> Well, in the last float hunt video that I did, a lot of people commented asking if it was legal to hunt from a boat like this. And yes, in the state of Michigan, which is where I'm hunting, it is 100% legal to hunt from a motorized boat as long as you're not having a loaded gun as the motor is running. So as long as you're just floating down river and the boat isn't in an upstream or forward motion, you're completely legal to hunt. So I just wanted to clarify that for everybody wondering. Just had a couple of ducks come sailing up the river bottom and I missed. <laughs> This lowland here. 
I saw some fresh tracks going into it. I saw a couple rubs as well, so I think I'm gonna put some double hot in the 12 gauge and go for a walk. I'm getting cold. Just had a shot at a buck, but I think I missed him. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna go look, but I think I missed him. But I just had a shot at a buck. Oh. I just climbed up this ridge. I got on his tracks and I made sure I didn't hit him. And it was a clean mess. It was a clean mess. Man, that was a nice buck, guys. He had a nice rack on him, man. Dang it. That one hurts. <laughs> that one hurts. But you know what? That's hunting. And that's just the way it goes, man. That's just the way it goes. And you know what? We'll be back next year after his butt. But I'm going to get off this ridge here. And we're gonna keep floating. We only have a little bit, a little bit farther left to get back, so we'll keep growing. I haven't floated 200 yards since I shot at that buck and all that ruckus was going on and there was a nice doe standing right in these thick bushes and I just took a shot and I smoked her baby. You know what? It's a bummer I didn't get that buck but we're almost back to the back to the end of the float here and I had one more tag to fill so that'll do it. Okay guys, let's go find our doe here. She was standing in these thick bushes over here. Let's go see if we can get on her tracks. I know I smoked her though. 100% smoked that one. But hold on, look at that sunset right now. That is so beautiful. What, I just, I don't even have words for what just happened. I came floating around right here. This is where I took the shot at the buck. He was running right on the side of this ridge here. And I was over there making all kinds of ruckus for probably, I don't know, 20 minutes at least. Took two shots even. And I came floating around the bend here and the doe was standing on the other side of these thick bushes here. It's just, I can't believe that. Just, you just never know, you never know. But we're gonna go find her deer here. See where she's at. Check this out. 
deer was bedded up right here. Not my deer, but a deer was. And there she is, guys. There she is. We have our second deer of the day. A nice doe. What an eventful last half hour, hour of the day. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe that. Like, I, I don't know if I said it or not, but if I had to guess, that buck that I took a shot at was probably coming down to breed this doe here. And uh, I kind of disrupted that, but you know what? I was able to fill all my tags, and after missing that buck, my trigger finger was a little hungry. <laughs> but hey, I filled my tags. We have some quality, quality meat coming home, and uh, it's all gonna be put to great use. I'm gonna get this deer gutted here. We're gonna get up off the river. What a day, man. That was a day. break some rules in the kitchen tonight here people check this out right here I have the heart off of the first deer that I harvested this morning and one big old inner loin there this is one of the most probably the most delicate and tender piece of meat on the entire deer and we're gonna experiment with this a little bit here tonight I'm gonna save the other three and cook them up a traditional way but with this one I'm gonna try to smoke it low and slow on our stovetop smoker here so I have some cherry wood and a little mesquite rub I'm gonna season it up in this rub and then we're gonna smoke it low and slow and see how it turns out Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn the stove on low I'm gonna put the stove top smoker on and then I have some pre-cut wood chips This is cherry and I'm just gonna take some of these wood chips here and just sprinkle them Right on the bottom of this pan and the beauty of this stove top smoker is how easy this is to use and now you can see those wood chips already acquiring smoke here. So I'm gonna put this rack on. I have this rack with our tenderloin. I'm gonna place that right on top there. And then I'm gonna seal this up. I'm gonna keep it on the lowest heat possible. And we're gonna let it go. And now while the tenderloin is smoking, we're gonna have a heart as an hors d'oeuvre. Well, I will say, this is the first time in many years that I've cooked a deer heart, so. Bear with me here, people. We're gonna cut this thing open though. It actually makes a unique shape here. Let's just maybe open it up the way the seams go. Okay, well you can see I just thinly sliced the heart into nice little, nice little slices. And I'm gonna use the old Kentucky Colonel. The old staple as you guys see on this channel all the time. And in we go with the heart. We're gonna have the heart as an hors d'oeuvre as our tenderloin is smoking. Okay, let's take a peek here. Oh my goodness, look at that, wow. Okay, here we go. Our heart is complete. Well, I gotta say, it's probably been about seven, eight years since I've had a deer heart. The, the deer I killed last year, I made heart shots, so couldn't, couldn't eat those, but here we go. Fresh venison heart. It definitely has a different texture than a typical venison steak, but it's very good. It's tender, it's, it, it's awesome. That's good, that's good. Okay, check it out. Our tenderloin is finished smoking. We're gonna give it a try. I'm a little bit nervous. We'll see how it turned out. Okay, here we go. Our venison tenderloin fresh off the river today. It's got a great smoky flavor. The mesquite rub definitely complements it very well. It's a little bit, I smoked it a little bit too long for what I like personally, but it's, it's awesome. Well, what a way to end the day. That was an awesome hunt, although I didn't connect with the buck. I got a freezer full of fresh meat, and I'm very thankful for that. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you're new to the channel, feel free to go down below here and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming episodes. But without further ado, I'm going to eat the rest of this tenderloin and get some sleep. It's going to be a cold day on the river steelhead fishing tomorrow.